Before members of the SCLC ever came to Birmingham back in the 60s, students at Miles College in Fairfield were already involved in protests and boycotts. Ashley Roberts shows us how those students use their voices to affect change as Alabama's 13 continues to celebrate Black History Month. Founded in 1898, Miles College has a rich history. Students found themselves in the middle of the civil rights movement. The reason they fought for change? Priceless. A burning desire to break down racial barriers. Well, we decided that we were going to take some action, nonviolent action. Hello there, hello there. 52 years ago, former Miles College students, Reverend Frank Dukes and Armand Bragg, shared a jail cell, now sharing a handshake. You not only talk the talk, but you walk the walk. We could have gotten killed for what we were doing. But we didn't care. They only cared about changing their community into a place where everyone was treated equally. Reverend Dukes led the mission. If a man asks me a question, I can speak for myself because uh, I would not be economically uh, depressed because I'm already economically depressed. He went to the the Birmingham Chamber of Commerce and told them he's doing a project for school and he wanted to know what impact the African-American community had upon downtown businesses. Turns out it was 25 percent. A boycott was born. Black students refused to buy from businesses that discriminated against them. Since boycotts were illegal, they used another name, the Selective Buying Campaign. The campaign was so successful that they caused downtown stores to lose over $4 million per week. And that was in the early 1960s. They also arranged sit-ins, going to businesses and sitting in areas designated for whites only. And we just sat there at the counter and the lady kept telling us we need to go down to the colored section. And certainly we refused to move and shortly after then we were arrested. Their efforts led to Reverend Fred Shovelsworth convincing Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. to bring the civil rights movement to Birmingham. He just had this way of really moving people. Every speech he gave uh, moved you. A time that taught students patience, persistence. Rather than class clown now, I'm looking at, I'm looking at folks who pat me on the back and treat me almost like a hero because I was one of the first for miles to uh, actually do the demonstration. It feels good to go in the store now and know you can uh, shop on any floor without re re regards of race, creed, or color. Color finally non-existent. The sky no longer the limit. Miles College students reaching new heights, fighting for civil rights. Their light still shining bright. About a year ago, I began working at Miles College in the communications department. Every time I step foot on campus, it's as if I'm taking a step back in time, remembering, recognizing, and appreciating the steps taken before me for civil rights. Ashley Roberts with that report. And to see this story again or our full 30-minute Black History Month special, do visit our website, alabamas13.com slash black history. There, you'll also find a slideshow with some behind-the-scenes pictures from this year's special.